If you are looking for amazing fragrances for date night, then this video is for you. Hi, welcome to Rock the Rebel. I'm here with the one and only Sonia Zamor Fragrance. Yes, hi everyone. So I'm single and I'm dating a lot and I do know that there are a ton of guys out there who are single and dating as well and want to smell good when they are dating. So I asked you to pick 12 fantastic fragrances for date night and you have chosen a lot of different kinds of scent. So this is for anyone who's dating and wants to smell amazing. We all know that a fragrance can't do everything. You gotta put in the work as well. Before we begin, do you have some tips for guys out there besides smelling good, besides all these fragrances, on what they can do to come across as someone attractive? Yes, I have several. So number one, be on time. Mm. I mean, I dated a guy once and he was constantly not on time. From the first date to the second date, he did get a second How date. How dare he Why? let the one and only wait. Yeah, I know. But seriously, if you are not prioritizing her time at the first date, how is it gonna be when you have, if I mean you move to a relationship? Be on time. Number two, ask questions and yes. listen to the answers. So important, yeah. If it doesn't come naturally, you have to prepare. Think about questions you can ask her. And if you really listen to the answers, you will find follow-up questions. Third one is you have to be positive. Yeah. And you have to have a smile on your face. And this is not when you are dating. I mean, it's not the time to whine or complain yeah. about anything. People usually like positivity. So try to not be negative. If you had a bad day, just leave that at the door. My first fragrance for date night is actually a freshie. Usually I don't think that freshies are dating fragrances because to me, freshies are mostly not sexy. This one, however, is actually sexy and seductive and perfect for a date. And this is a freshie that is aromatic but with a twist and it is Paco Rabanne's Invictus Platinum. This is green, it's fresh, it's aromatic, it has notes of mint and absinthe. Mm. This is a really cool freshie. I can't say that I can pick up the absinthe because I honestly doesn't know how it smells. But this has some depth and warmth to it that you usually don't find in freshies. And that's why I think it's amazing. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but I already burned through more than half of the bottle. That's how much I enjoy it. And I burned through all of that in quite a short period of time. And it's definitely a scent that gets a lot of compliments. It's a fresh shape but with a twist and I really like it. The next one up is one that I actually had a conversation in the comments on my channel mm. about with a guy who just bought it. And we really agreed on that this is an amazing dating fragrance. And the one is Replica mm. and this is Jazz Club from Maison Margiela. Maison. Margiela. Maison, Maison. Margiela. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is boozy with rum and it's smoky with tobacco. And I mean, a guy coming to a date smelling boozy like he's really drunk and smoky like he's just inhaled like three Wait packages up. of cigarettes. Really drunk? And Is that then... sexy? <laughs> No, I was just gonna see if you were reacting. Okay. No, of course not. That's not sexy. But the scent of something boozy in a fragrance and the scent of something with tobacco, something smoky, is beautiful and really attractive. And this is unfortunately not the fragrance with the best performance. So mm. this is no beast mode performance, but the scent is so beautiful, so I just have to recommend it anyways. Percival from Parfum Somali is the next one. And you know how I feel about almonds in mm. fragrances. And we have the number one collection of Guerlain fragrances with the amazing almond note. But Pegasus stands out because this is powdery and sweet with the focus on almonds and vanilla. So if you are on a date and you're like in a bar, this will cut through the yes. air and this will smell different to everything else and when you pass someone by it will give this beautiful whiffs of almonds that they just react because this doesn't smell like anything that you feel in like a bar or a fussy restaurant or something amazing one almond in a scent is not that common which basically means that this kind of scent that focuses on almond will make you stand out from the crowd in a fantastic way this is definitely a scent that you need to try out so we actually have another kind of fresh one coming up but this one is also warm, it's 
sweet and it is seductive. So the one is Versace Eros Eau de Parfum. Mm. And I actually said that Versace Eros, the EDT, is a perfect summer fragrance. And I got like bashed in the comments. Mm -hmm. But I think it is a great summer fragrance. But now we have the colder months of the year and maybe you want something a bit more warm, a bit more full and deep. And then you just reach for Eau de Parfum. This has a note of mint, so you have the freshness, but you also have candied apple instead of just apple, which is in the EDT. Mm. So this is perfect if you are going on winter or like fall dates and you want something sweet, aromatic, fresh and just alluring. The EDP to me sits sort of a right between the EDT and Parfum and I think this is fantastic scent and in my experience when wearing pretty much any of the Eros most people enjoy that kind of scent. The next one is from the Valentino Uomo line but I am not going to talk about the intense one because not everyone are into powdery fragrances and that one is really powdery. But another one from that collection that is amazing is Valentino Uomo mm. Born in Roma and this is the pink one. There's also a yellow one, yeah. Yellow Dream. But this one, it's warm, it's aromatic, it's sweet, a bit woody, it's not that powdery and I think that this one is often overlooked. Yeah. And this is a really attractive scent on a man. I, I know many women who really like like warm, slightly aromatic and sweet fragrances yes. on a man. So when you want to go on a date and you want to smell attractive, put something sweet on and why not this one? Yeah, I'm not sure why Born in Roma is overlooked. This one to me is a well-made, sort of a sweet fragrance that most women will definitely enjoy on you. So once again, we have a drunk over smoke run coming up. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. We have an amazing fragrance from Initio and honestly, you could put on any Initio fragrance for a date because they are all amazing. But the one I have chosen for today is the one with rum and tobacco and a wonderful note of cinnamon. And I just love the scent of cinnamon. So cinnamon in fragrances can really take over, but this one doesn't take over in a bad way. It takes over in a wonderful way. And this is side effect. Mm. So this has tobacco, it has rum, it has that cinnamon and it smells incredible. So Side Effect used to be one of my absolute favorite date night fragrances. It's a fantastic scent that will make you smell very attractive in quite a unique way. The next one is not for leather freaks because this is not leather all the way, but you are a leather freak and I know that you dare to wear leather fragrances yes. to dates. And if you do like to wear leather, but I mean, leather is kind of a challenging note to some. So you maybe want to have some leather on a date, but you maybe don't want to go full leather freak. Then you could just put on Tom Ford yeah. Noir Extreme, because here you get the most wonderful leather note, but you get it on top of Noir Extreme with that beautiful vanilla, the coffee, which is a dessert, and you know how we feel about desserts yes, and yes, smelling yes. like desserts. This is beautiful. Yeah, so Parfum is, like you mentioned, sort of like Noir Extreme, but to me it's less sweet and yeah. has leather in it. But the leather is very smooth, very easy to like, very easy to wear. The next one I have chosen is actually two fragrances. Mm. And I chose to go with two because every time I mention one of these, I get comments like, no, the other one is much better. It's way better. How can you go with that one? How but can you? How can How dare I? you? No, you're going to understand me. You're... Yeah, okay, okay. Hey, you're on okay. my side here. Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> but actually, both of these are amazing. They just have something different in them. So we have Stronger With You intensely, and we have Stronger With You absolutely. Mm. So both are sweet, both are woody, both have that fabulous vanilla note. This one intensely has toffee. So it's really sweet. It's amazingly sweet and beautiful and absolutely has a rum note. So this is boozy and less sweet, but it's still sweet to me. Go with any one of these and you will smell extremely attractive and seductive. And I know that you love both of these. Yeah, I absolutely love both and I can highly recommend both as fragrances for date night. But I'm gonna say this, if you have a sweet tooth and prefer more sweet fragrances, go with Intensely. It has that stronger with you sort of a scent in it. Absolutely to me, it's a bit more mature, a bit sort of um, darker. 
Yeah. Maybe a bit edgier, sexier. Yeah. But regardless of which of these two you choose, you will most likely get a compliment or two. So there is actually a new fragrance that's kicked ass mm -hmm. with all of the previous Armani Code fragrances. Whoa. So if you haven't tried the Armani Code Parfum, I'm gonna say like they say on these TikTok videos, don't walk to the fragrance store. Run to the fragrance store now ah, okay. to try this one out. I never ever said that, but okay. <laughs> but all the TikTok videos does, uh -huh, okay. so I'm gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> so run and try it because this is beautiful. It is powdery, yes, but it's not overly powdery. It's not crazy powdery. It does have, I think it's iris and oris, so there's the powdery side. But this also has some citrus and it has aldehyde, so you have this fresh and yeah. clean feeling over it as well. And that's why I think that people that normally don't tend to love powdery fragrances might think that this smells amazing anyway. Yeah, Armani Code to me is attractive in an elegant way. And yes, it's powdery, but to me it's powdery in quite a versatile kind of way because the powderiness in this one is not heavy, super warm or super deep and it has that freshness to it. So it's like fresh with a lighter kind of powderiness and it's a gorgeous scent. Paco Rabanne Dangerous Me is an amazing one from the Paco collection. So this one has vanilla, it has ambergris and it has ginger. So something sweet, something spicy and something salty and that is a great combo. So I am a huge fan of the Paco collection from Paco Rabanne and I don't think they get enough attention for being such amazing fragrances. Every time I sniff any one of them I go crazy mm. but the one that I think is perfect for like a date when it's colder outside is definitely dangerous me. Yeah, there's something super addictive to this one. It's intoxicating. It's definitely sexy. Thanks for reminding me about dangerous me. I'm definitely going to use this on my next date. The next one is warm, fruity and sweet with cranberry, saffron and coffee. And this one is often overlooked because it's been around for a while, but every time I put my nose to this, I just get speechless because it's so simple, but it smells so good. And the one is Ralph Lauren Polo Red. This is incredible. It's the most simple fragrance you can wear. This is such a safe one to put on on a date. She will think that you smell amazing. And actually it will make you stand out because who wears this nowadays? So I have been in love with the next one for years. Sometimes there can go months before I even think about this one, but then you put it on and I'm like in love all mm. over again. And that's the reaction pretty much I get all the time whenever I put it on. It's that yes, good. It's that good. Prada Lom yeah. Intense. Oh my God, if you don't have a bottle, just go get one now. This makes you smell attractive for any situation, but if you put this on for a date, I can promise you that she will think that you smell amazing. And this scent, she will remember it. She will remember you yeah. for smelling incredible. And if she gets a whiff of it from someone else, she will think about you. The yeah, Prada Long Intense is this amazing blend of something classy, something elegant and something super sexy. This is one that will definitely get you compliments and this is definitely a fantastic fragrance for date night. So I wanna know which is your favorite fragrance for date night. Make sure you put it in a comment. Please do like this video, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you head on over to Sandra's Global Fragrance channel. I'm gonna link to her channel in the description below. Sub to her, sub to me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.